The Mark McFadden V2 darts range by our in-house brand Colonial are available now. I'll be doing an in-depth review of the soft tip and steel tip versions, of course. Now there are two prominent differences with the new and improved V2 compared to the original. We'll hop into a close-up of the barrels, comparing the differences between generation one and two. I'll do some throwing action of each type, then we'll end the review with a summary of my thoughts on their performance. The soft tip and steel tip V2s share the same length as the original V1. We've definitely upgraded with some design tweaks. First off, we've added a middle band of super thin radial grooves, breaking up the rest of the ring cuts, which are now offset axial grooves, providing even more grip than before, where the axial cuts were straight up and down. A final change regarding the steel tip version is a bump up in weight. Originally, it was a 21 gram barrel, and now Mark has opted to go up to 22 grams. Overall, we give the V2 range a 5 out of 5 for grip intensity. Let's see how I fare with some throwing action. 18 gram Mark McFadden Colonial Barrel. Throwing a single leg of 501. Split ball double out. I'm going to be obnoxious taking them out because they're so aggressive they cut into my... Baby smooth the hands when I try to yank them out. Ah. We're on L-style Astro shaped flights and I shoot with the 190 length carbon fiber shafts. Uh. There we go. I'm trying to hold in the very center radial bands because everything else is a little too aggressive for me. Oof. So Mark says his favorite soft tip checkout is 90, so I'm going to purposefully score 58 points to leave that. Oop, that was a close one. Oh, sick. Okay, we have our 90 checkout. Let me know in the comments, I've been thinking about this. If you have three darts, technically the correct method is to go for 20s, because you can hit a single 20, another single, and then bowl to finish but a lot of people go treble 18, double 18. However, if you hit a single 18, you still have to treble to finish. So I think that's, it's correct to go 20 on 19, or sorry, on 90. Do not miss inside, Jen. Free you, Mark. shooting the 22 gram Mark McFadden Colonial Barrel. And Mark's favorite steel tip checkout is 126, of course. He's got to pick a big hitter. Uh, so we're going to go 19s all the way. First attempt here. Ooh. Oh my god. That never happens. That never happens, ever. I expected seven attempts. <laughs> okay, final thoughts on the Mark McFadden Colonial V2 darts. Anyone out there that likes a mid to long barrel, evenly weighted, insane grip all throughout, kind of the trifecta for your average American man. Our community loves this type of barrel, and now we have a new and unique option, especially considering this offset axial pattern. There's so much bite, it's crazy. I think dudes that work with their hands a lot are going to go nuts for this dart. Black and silver is a sick combination too, if we maybe superficial for a second. It's just a good looking dart and what I find interesting about our grip intensity rating is it's not the kind of milling that can cut a steak, right? Like sometimes reverse cut and sharp cut actually cuts into my hands, but this kind of wide spaced thin radial bands and offset axial grooves creating a lot of surface area for you to nuzzle your 
fingers in kind of a sneaky way, it provides a ton of texture and grip. So long story short, if you're out there in construction, woodworking, you're a mechanic, you know, you know what I mean? You all have rough hands and you use your hands all the time. So you need grip on the dart so it doesn't slip away. I couldn't recommend this more if you also like a straight barrel shape and just a fan of Mark. He's such a cool dude. Check out our blog highlighting him if you haven't had a chance. Anyway, I always say I have baby smooth hands, so I type on a keyboard and use my brain for a living, right? So a five out of five grip intensity wasn't made for me. My partner, however, is currently building a custom cabinet. That's not my life. I sit back in awe of people who can do their own kitchen remodels and fix cars and build homes for people. So although it's not suited for me, Mark Start is probably suited for most Americans out there. That concludes the in-depth review of the Mark McFadden V2 darts range. You can purchase these barrels on our website, adzdarts.com. Just look for the links in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this review and the rest of our in-house Colonial brand. Up next, I'm going to review the Cali West V2 darts range. So be on the lookout. I'll see you next time.